So, I'm not finished. I changed my mind again. That's fine. Right. You know what? I just woke up. And I do not feel manic anymore. Thank fucking God. Oh my God. Bruh. That was awesome, but it was also really exhausting. Jesus Christ. And listen, <clears throat> you tell me to go to sleep, fuck off. And this is this is my point. Straight up. I want people to understand what the fuck my point is. Listen to me. You were right. Of course you were. I know that. <clears throat> I am not stupid. I know that I have to go to fucking sleep. That has never been my point. Tim Ferriss is telling you that you can use yourself as the experiment, as the human guinea pig. That is courage. Do you understand? That is courage. That's it. That is my fucking point. You, I don't give a fuck if I get sick because I don't go to sleep. I don't fucking care. That's what I don't understand. Why are you so afraid to just experiment on yourself? Especially when you're young as shit. That's what I don't... I mean, at least when you're like in your 20s. When you're, in, when you're in your prime. Why the fuck would you be afraid to experiment on your healthy ass body? I don't get it. I straight up just don't. So, when somebody tells me, rest... Take a break. Go to sleep. When I'm fucking manic, I will flip them off. That's it. That's it. And people just misunderstand people with bipolar so badly. It's crazy. So I will just fucking try to make a product that helps people fucking get my points. Because my God... That shit goes over people's heads like crazy. It does. It does. Listen, my point, my argument, my fucking argument is very simple. An extremely, extremely, extremely successful person in all different areas and facets of life has figured out that you can use yourself as the human guinea pig. He has made himself the fucking scientist and the researcher and the writer and the doctor the second he fucking did that. The second. That is my fucking point. I'm clearly not doing well. My throat feels like shit and I am coughing. Because I didn't sleep for three days. No shit. But do you know how much I fucking got done in three days? Do you have any idea? And that is the thing. What is sleeping? You sleep instead of doing something. That is what the fuck is going on. You are resting and recovering instead of working. That is the truth. That is the fucking truth. You are dreaming about dreams instead of making them become a fucking reality. That is the facts. So, that is just my fucking point. And that is why I get mad. When people tell me to take a fucking break and rest, bitch, I will do whatever the fuck I want. 
I am a grown ass man. If I want to not sleep for three days, so I fucking do what I want to do the most at that moment, you will eat every turn that I throw your fucking way. That's it. That is it. That is why I am fucking mad at you fucking people. Because you keep missing my fucking point with a relentless persistence. I just am fucking brave enough to use myself as the fucking human guinea pig. So that when you tell me to go to sleep, I will not. Instead, that's it. And then I will fucking... But here's the thing. Some people with bipolar, they go about this the whole wrong way. They go about this the whole wrong fucking way. Because this is what some of you fucking do. And I'm trying to help every person with bipolar and every other person try to fucking understand them. That's it. Listen. You fucking get told by idiots dumb shit you do. And you know it and you have a massive fucking ego. You do. You do. You do. Ego is just how important you think you are. And people with bipolar have a ridiculously overblown fucking self uh, sense of self-importance. They do. They do. And there is nothing wrong with that. I, like, not in and of itself. There isn't. Like, think about this. Imagine your fucking child is born on this fucking earth as somebody like Michael Jordan who has the level of self-importance of I am the best. And then you want to label that as a sickness. You will get fucked by me. Every single time you try that. That's it. There is a difference between fucking sense of self-importance. And doing bad things. Do you fucking get that? Insulting others and having a high level of self-importance is not... The same at all. Having no respect for others and having a high level of self-importance is not the same. This is why so many people hate, 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 hate people with bipolar. They hate them because we do win all the time. But why? Here's why. Because I have more energy than you. I sleep less than you. I think I'm more important than you. So I do more important things. That is basic psychology. That's it. I am not and have never been an asshole. Stop trying to make me out to be one when I am not you are just a salty bitch. That's it. It is the fucking truth. And you know it too. So I will make it my mission to ensure that this is what I think happens. You are all bullies. Do you get it? You are all bullies. Bullying people with bipolar. That is straight up. What's happening? So I just solved it. I just solved the fucking bully problem. You are getting fucking destroyed by people that think they're more important than you because of a thought. That is how psychology works. What? How do you act? You think first. This is very simple and I will lay it out for you right the fuck now. If I think I'm really important, then I will fucking act in a way that is in accordance to that belief. If you 
if I think that I'm not important at all, then I will act in accordance to that belief. That is it. That is it. Nothing fucking more. You are such a loser and such a fucking salty bitch pussy bully that you fucking, you, you react to somebody who literally just has a belief that they're more important than you and then they do more important things and then you hate that person. You have so much resentment for that because you don't understand it. So you can't do it yourself. So I will fucking allow you. And that is the issue. There are people with bipolar that don't do that. You want to know why? Because you hurt them so much without ever stopping. Because you do nothing but bully and hate people with bipolar because you're so salty that's it that is the only thing that is ever fucking actually happening it's crazy so i am sick of it i am done because it's a fucking issue of communication one or two parties in this fucking equation is clearly not getting it and a lot of the time it's both so I have fixed the fucking problem myself because I just fucking wanted to and people tell me to take a break I will Fucking ram you with my cock until you shut the fuck up. That's it. I won't take a break. Because you fucking want me to, so I fucking stop winning. That is what's going on. You think that that isn't what's going on. It is. I fucking know it why would you tell somebody that is clearly pumped full of energy and adrenaline and is driven beyond fucking belief and you fuck your response to that is take a break you are a dumb fucking idiot bully abusing piece of little shit and you are salty as fuck that's it and i will tell you every fucking time that is not me insulting you that is me literally just talking back to a pussy bullies are all losers that's it that is not a mystery at all that is 100% true. 100% true. How do I know? I fucking read one or two psychology books. And I fucking watched a therapist upload and talk to fucking people. And I have watched like 140 therapy sessions live. And then I read more books, and then I read more about neuroscience, and then I talked to more people, and I met more fucking idiots. And you know what I did? I acted my ass off, because I know I'm better than you. I just do. Better than you, the bully. Not anyone else on this fucking planet. Just you, just you. Just so you fucking get just how much better I am. Just, just so you understand it. Because I really want you to, so you fucking start winning too. Your issue is that you're losing. That's it. That is your only problem in life. And you are so salty that you refuse to listen to the fucking winner trying to make you win as well. That is 
how much of a loser you are. That, that is a fact. That is a fact. And I will just let everyone know. Every single person will know this. This will, I am literally changing the education system right now because I fucking feel like it. Because I know that the education system is fucking too lenient on bullies. Way too lenient. So what do I do? I recognize that. Do you think I would ever back down or stop fighting like a fucking bitch? No. Instead, I just acted my ass off every day of my fucking life so I could get to this point in order to fucking beat the shit out of every bully on planet Earth with my massive fist. That's it. That's it. I win. You lose. That's it. Do you finally get how much better I am than you at winning? And nothing else. It's crazy. And I don't care. I, I really don't. I'm just trying to help you win too. So you can become Michael Jordan too. Your only problem is that you don't fucking want to listen to the person that is most equipped out of everyone to fucking make you Michael Jordan. Fuck. So just read my fucking books and buy my product for real so you can actually become number one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable when your own parents are such salty losers. It's crazy. It's crazy what I'm dealing with. So I choose to help. Stop fucking listening to what other people are saying. If you are full of energy and drive and motivation and you want to do something, why are you stopping? Because somebody else told you to. You're getting bullied. That's it. I literally have figured out how to maximize and optimize the shit out of my health, my efficiency, my fucking work, my tools, my level of adrenaline, my level of dopamine, the molecule of more and drive. It is that simple. You want to win, then you have to be pumped full of adrenaline and dopamine and you have to be healthy as shit that's it and you have to be really good at learning the most efficient way that's it and you have to work really fucking hard But this is the problem. You can't work really hard if you allow other people to tell you to take a break. Like, what the fuck? Tell, just tell them to shut the fuck up and keep going. It's the same with what you want to do with your life. If you want to become fucking Michael Jordan, then stop letting anyone else tell you, no, you can't be Michael Jordan. You will tell them to get the fuck away from you every single time they say that. Without ever backing down a single fucking time. You want to surround yourself with people that don't want you to succeed. That's, that's what's happening. Why? Because you're a fucking pussy. 
you love them but they're bullying the shit out of you because they're losing at everything and you aren't don't let that fucking bully piece of shit do anything if you want to become Michael Jordan and you are fucking motivated and driven to do that and you are putting in more hard work than everyone else and you refuse to take a break then do not let other people tell you to stop doing that what that has a word it's winning what the fuck and bullies get it so fucked up because they're such salty bully loser bitches that they think you care about money when all you are doing is fucking working as hard as you can at the one thing you want which is usually not even money at all and if it is then you should get bullied straight up straight up i i, I don't even give a shit i don't give a shit if you want me to attack if, if you want to attack me for that i don't give a fuck listen if if you are fucking your only goal in life your only dream is to become rich and then you fucking try to win as hard as that you should get bullied by your family 100% you should and you should listen to them and this is also the other side of the fucking coin that I'm trying to fucking explain to people some some it, 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 some people with this fucking condition react differently everyone fucking is different even still and some people really will not listen to you at all, like fucking Kanye West. That guy is winning out of his ass, and he has been for fucking decades. But he's too focused on money and attention and telling people off because he's a victim of being bullied for decades by losers. It's fucking crazy that you dumb fucking retards don't fucking get that shit. It's crazy. You wanna get mad? Come. I literally beat you in your face. Straight up. I don't give a fuck. Holy shit. Like, <laughs> I swear to God. It's fucking crazy. You want to hate on me. And step up to me. I will fucking destroy you physically until you cry and I won't stop at all you ask me to stop I won't I won't and you think I'll stop then no 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 I'll make sure to shove this product down your entire family's throat You, like, you people really just don't understand who the fuck you're talking to at any step at all. It's fucking, it's hilarious. You are so confused as to what the fuck your place is and what my place is. It's crazy. And I will fucking lay it out to you. I have the gold medal. I, my place is number one and yours is so fucking further below than mine. You want to be mad. You want to hate at me. I will fight. I will physically hurt you straight up. So get away. Get out of my way. Because I am first. So nobody is in my way. Stop being fucking delusional enough to think that you're in my way. Get out of my way. And this is the only thing. It actually makes me angry. People in my fucking way. I am first and I'm trying to get somewhere. If you go in front of me as I'm running as fast as I can, I will fucking push you away immediately without fucking a second thought. That is simple <coughs> logic. 
Stop getting in front of people that are running as fast as they can towards something. You are such a dumbass. Do you think it has anything to do with fucking lack of social intelligence or not liking people or not wanting to fucking talk with people? No, it's logic. If I'm running as fast as I can toward a goal, and I'm first at it, and you get in my fucking way, and I will fucking get mad. I will beat the shit out of you until you get the fuck out of my way. That's it. So please, just get out of my fucking way and leave me alone when I tell you that shit. And I don't <clears throat> give a single fuck if you want to listen. If you this, if you fucking want to put your hands on your ears and your eyes like a bully, pussy, whiny bitch, then I'll just go to your family instead. And eventually, I will just lock you the fuck up. You think I can't do that? I can. I literally build a company to do that. Let, straight up. I will fucking ensure that you get locked the fuck up and you will be forced to fucking take my goddamn medicine for bullies. Because I'm a doctor. You fucked up. You lost so colossally the second you tried to fuck with me. That's it. It's already happening. There's nothing you can do to stop it now except to get in front of me. So try it. Go ahead. I will literally fucking eliminate you. That's it. Out Because at that point, you've become my competition. You have. If you want to compete with me, and you want, if you're a salty loser, you want to compete with me, get in front of me, I will eliminate you straight up, immediately, straight up. You don't believe it? Try it, go ahead. I will not give a fuck if you want to listen to me or not. I will build an entire company whose only purpose is to lock you the fuck up and make you, no, lock you the fuck up? Tie you down, make you stop crying, and then I will fucking shove this medicine down your fucking throat against your will so you finally start winning. <laughs> nah. I am Michael Jordan, not you. If you want to be, if you want to beat me, if you want, to, and this is what gets me. I think competition is beautiful. I think it's amazing. It's, it's so cool to me when people come to me and say, man, you're so cool. I want to beat you. Okay, that's awesome. Then let's play. But you're taking it too seriously. So you don't ever win. I mean, I don't get it. And you, except I do. I, I, I completely get it, but you don't. So I'm trying to fucking supply you with the medication that is, I get it now. That's it. That is literally the only thing that is ever happening here. I'm literally just giving you medication so that you can finally say, oh, I get it now and I can start winning. That's it. Do you know how fucking powerful I am? Do you actually have any idea? No. No, you don't. And I will explain to you why. I am a fucking god of acting. Do you? I am so fucking good at this. I'm so good at this. So, 
you will never, ever, ever, ever have any idea what's actually happening inside of my head. And this is the funny shit you think you do. You don't. Because I'm literally that much better at acting than everyone else. Everyone else. That's it. That scares you? It should. It should. It should fucking scare you. I will never do anything bad to hurt anyone, but it should still scare you because that is scary. So, dude, I've literally just fucking... Listen, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can literally write a billion and one stories and I can use myself as the fucking actor right now. You think I have to write a single word down on a page, dude? I can fucking write a story and I can build a character at this second and I could just act it out immediately and fucking just do the next story and the next story and the next story and the next story and you are so confused as to what's happening you don't even understand that I've built an entire book of words it's called a show you dumb fuck